Right then, in this video we're going to set about making this little bit of animation that we've created already loop forever for each of the um, different planets. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the graph editor which is where we can see all the animations we've created as a series of curves or lines uh, which is what we're going to work with. So, we're going to select one of the groups that we've just animated, so I'll click on group 1 and then I want you to go to window, animation editors and graph editor and that will open up this little chap. Um, I've got a feeling though that I haven't turned something off. No, I have turned it off. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we'll just work out how this works. So um, you can zoom in and out if you've got a rollerball doing that. You can use Alt and the, the right mouse button to do that. You've got Alt and middle mouse button to move it around like that. And weirdly, to get it to move side to side, if you press Alt and Shift, a middle mouse button, you can move it just side to side, it won't go up and down. Um, but as we are only interested in this one curve at the moment, I'm going to press A, and that will frame up just the curve that we're looking at. Okay, so this is the graph editor, and the keyframes we've set are represented as these black dots at either side. Uh, the line in between is um, is the animation between so it shows the value is changing. Now, if for some reason uh, your lines are curved at the end, that means that you've got um, a tangent set here. So you might have it set to um, clamped or plateau or something, or you've left it on auto. Uh, it should have been on linear. Um, but hopefully you've got a nice straight line like this, which means that we can set the infinity. We need it to be linear. Okay, so we're going to look at setting the infinity on this then. So, <clears throat> um, what we're going to do first is we're going to make it so that we can see infinity. At the moment, we can't see anything, but you can have infinity represented by some dotted lines. So if you click on view and then find infinity and give that a click, you can see that we now get some dotted lines. And that means that between frame 1 and frame 20 there's going to be an animation but after it it goes straight again which means nothing's happening and that's what we're going to set about changing okay so we're going to go to curves and we're going to go to pre-infinity and we're going to change that to linear and that means if we set our time timeline to begin before frame 0 um, then it will continue to animate this but we're not going to do that but it's it's good practice so we know it's there what we're really interested with is going post infinity and changing that to linear as well and you can see straight away that the infinity curve continues in the same line so that means it's going to animate forever so just to show you what that means um, I'll go back to frame one and I'll press play now the group I've just animated keeps going the rest of them still stop but that one planet it's going to continue being animated because I've set the curve for that. Right. What you need to do now then is um, set uh, the infinity for every other planet, every other group as well, the planets and the groups. So you've got to do it for all of these things that we've already set keyframes on. Um, and then once you've done that, I'll meet you in the next video.